All right, everybody. So here with Bill Land, we're catching up on him. We're towards the end of the, the basketball season. We pulled out a basketball here. So, so Bill, can you give us an update on what it's been like now after having cataract surgery with your new vision and kind of what it's been like on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, it's been over a year and uh, it has gotten literally better almost every day, but noticeably probably each month. Uh, and it was very good from the get-go. Uh, but it's, it's just been um, a, such a new experience when you've worn glasses for years to be able to see clearly and to be able to do my job hopefully a little bit better because uh, I'm, I'm not having to uh, concentrate on reading glasses here and there. Um, and just the clarity um, and the brightness, I think, are the two things that come to mind, first of all, that is just noticeably different. And um, and I don't take it for granted either. <laughs> Every day uh, that I uh, get up and I don't have to reach for my glasses and I can see great, I uh, just thank goodness I had the procedure done. So, Bill, like before, before surgery, you were, were you wearing glasses all the time or were sometimes when you were on air, were you using glasses and sometimes you weren't? Or what did it look like before? On the air, when I was broadcasting, I was wearing them all the time. Okay. And, of course, had the... Uh, bifocals so you could help with reading. Uh, at home, I basically uh, was not wearing them. Um, I could see all right at a moderate distance inside, but if I was reading, then I had to wear cheaters. Gotcha. Um, so that's been the process. Um, and um, maybe the best thing that has been is that the setup that we have to broadcast with here at the AT&T Center, wherever we are, uh, there's the obviously seeing, like in this case, during this pandemic, when the team is playing in Orlando, and we're broadcasting the games from here at the AT&T Center. We're watching things off of a big screen, which is at one distance. Then I have my uh, boards for the two teams laid out in front of me that is handwritten. Then I have another sh sheet of paper that has got some notes and some stats on it. And I keep a running score. Then I have a stat monitor there as well. And they're all different sizes of font, and they're all different distances. And um, it, it's, it's been great to be able to read those, regardless of what the situation is, uh, without having to wear glasses. And that's just been a, bit, been a huge aid to me in, in hopefully doing a better job of what I do. What's it been like with other people that you have relationships there, you know, with the at t Center? Are they like, hey, Bill, where's your glasses? Or, you know, do, do people know that you've had this done? Yeah, and a, a lot of people, particularly uh, when the season first started, uh, were going, uh, what, oh, going without the glasses tonight, huh? What, uh, what's, what's the story? And I, I tell them what's happened, and it's been amazing how many people uh, are still unaware of what can happen when you get cataracts and that you can actually forget just having the cataracts removed. You can actually have better vision than you have ever had, and when people find out about it in a learning situation, and I refer them to the website and some of the other stories that we've got there at Parker's New Vision, uh, they, I've had several people come back to me and go, well, Matt, why shouldn't I check this out? And I'm going, right. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. And I think that over the course of the season, I've heard less comments from people I see every day because now they know me as Bill Land without glasses again. Yeah, yeah, your new normal, right? Right, right. Yeah, it's uh, people aren't aware or don't follow basketball. Uh, when the, the NBA restarted its season, uh, they took 22 teams to Orlando, put them out at Disney World in basically a self-contained bubble uh, and uh, for safety purposes. And the teams were limited to how many people they could bring along. And all of the local broadcast teams um, are broadcasting – from their home cities. Most are doing what we're doing. They're broadcasting, like in our case, we're here at an empty AT&T Center broadcasting these games, but we're watching it off the big screen TV just like everybody else is at home. So it's a, it's a huge challenge. Very fortunate that we've got several production people plus another set of eyes down in Orlando that can help us out and give us some key information. But a lot of it is just being reliant on your vision to be able to pick up uniform numbers of the opposing players because you don't may not recognize them as much. Um, and so that's been a real challenge, but um, it's in it, it. 
I guess timing's everything because I'm thinking that if I had to do that wearing glasses, my vision's so much better even than what I had with glasses that it would really be a struggle. Um, and it's gone surprisingly very well. That's so cool. What, what have you enjoyed, the, you know, I, I guess outside the work when you're not, you know, telling us about how, the, you know, the San Antonio basketball team is doing. How's it been like, you know, outside of work? You know, what have you enjoyed with your new vision there? Oh, uh, you know, in the summer, one of the things that hits me is um, when uh, it's a 100 degree day and you get out of your car and you walk into a store and your glasses fog up. Huh. Um, not anymore. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of those little things. Yeah. Uh, golfing when I would wear glasses and it's hot and sweaty and it's dripping now it's not there and also I'm able to see the ball much better uh so it's just just general everyday things that are that I'm able to do that I haven't been able to do for what over 25 years uh and see clearly uh and then as I mentioned at the top a little bit about just the overall clarity and the brightness uh I never never wore sunglasses before I do now because <laughs> everything is so much brighter uh that's that's a positive <laughs> well i don't know if you can see in our our background here we got a bill land for president sign going on <laughs> Almost feel like I'm uh, on sports. Uh, i don't talk politics but i can tell you one thing that is not something anybody should watch <laughs> <laughs> well let's change the topic here and talk about tonight we got a some big games tonight i mean what what are you thinking you know the, one of the things you were telling me early on is we got a few games here at three o'clock. You know, what, what are our chances looking like for tonight? Well, the first thing is that the Spurs need to win. Yeah. Uh, if they don't win, they do not get into the play in game. This is the end of the restart of the eight games. Um, if they win, they need two of three other teams that are also playing to lose. And that would get them into the play-in between number nine and number eight. The winner of that then gets into the playoffs. So it's kind of complicated. You almost got to have a, a math degree to, to try to figure it all out. But uh, there are two games going on prior to the Spurs game that affect them. Uh, one of them involves the Memphis Grizzlies. And the Spurs need them to lose or they need the Phoenix Suns to lose to Dallas before the Spurs game starts for the Spurs game today against Utah to mean something. And then if the Spurs win, they would hope that later on that uh, the Portland Trailblazers would additionally lose. Uh, the other part of it is if the Spurs win and all three of those teams lose, the Spurs would be the number eight seed. Huh. Now, I'm going to have you repeat that to me, okay? All right. So I'm not <laughs> even going to try, but – we are excited that there's even a chance tonight. It makes for right. some exciting basketball here tonight and making sure, at least me personally, we're going to get the girls down early so we can make sure that we're watching. So, well, Bill, how's it, how's it been like? I mean, right now you're getting, you know, it's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. You know, the game's tonight. What does the rest of your day look like today? Uh, well, we, we had a production meeting this morning. Uh, I'll be doing an interview with uh, Coach Pop that we're going to tape via Zoom uh, at around 3.30 this afternoon. Our pregame show uh, starts at 5 o'clock. There's some production things that we need to do prior to that. Sean and I will both be on during that pregame show. And then at 5.30, uh, normally we have pretty well planned out what we want to talk about in our opening comments. But because of these other games and the effect they have on this one, uh, we're literally kind of flying by the seat of our pants. So uh, people want to tune in to find out if uh, we succeed. <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's a busy, busy time. But, man, everybody's so excited just to be back on the job and have basketball again. No one's complaining. Right. Well, hey, Bill, thanks for taking time to hang out with us today. It's so cool to, you know, hear you and see how, you know, our hometown team is doing. We've been really excited. And we're so excited that your new vision, you know, it, you know, it was awesome to start with. And it's awesome just to hear how, how you're using it. And, and really, just like you said, it's just a reminder to everybody else. You know, if you want to get out of these readers and having them all around the house, you know, you don't have to have cataracts. You can come in sooner. There's all sorts of options that are available. All right, Bill. Well, before, hey, before I go, let me just say again, because a lot of people don't understand is that 
the business operation there is is first class and for people that uh, are even wondering about whatever it might be with their eyes or their vision do just make an appointment and come in and visit with you all because uh, there's no pressure on any of that business and I think they'll just get a much better understanding and a little bit more confident feeling about how they want to proceed yeah well thanks for t again Bill uh, obviously you have a bunch of fans here we're rooting for you and, <laughs> <laughs> and the Spurs so thanks so much for taking the time I hope you have a good rest of the day all right I've got all my fans right behind me too <laughs> see ya